One of the things that inspired me to explore this place was mountain biking. My first stop, I wanted to get a feel for the terrain. So I'm headed up to the Shasta Bike Park. I'm meeting with Taylor, a local expert who will guide me on how to navigate this difficult landscape. Kevin, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Doing well. We have a volcanic type dirt that's really loose. A lot of people call it moon dust. Okay. And it is challenging, but super fun. Moon dust, and I didn't even have to leave Earth to find it. Taylor and I are heading up the main lift for a quick warm up run and get a feel for this challenging dirt. dirt it's volcanic ash and it takes a while to get used to Ooh. The terrain I definitely don't have down, but crashing I do. On the other hand, Taylor is a veteran here, so he wanted to show me the infamous road gap that they built. That is no joke. Woo! Dude, that looks so sick. That was awesome. I see that's why you got the little, uh, punching bag. Yes, or the tree pads are there the, for that exact reason. So, you know, at least it's yeah. a somewhat safe road gap. OK, that was a nice warm up, but Taylor had a special treat. We're taking the Ranger. We're going to check out the backside of Coyote, which has never been ridden on a bike before. A first descent, truly the unpaved way. Ooh. We're on our way up to this really cool spot where there's nothing but these volcanic rocks and pumice. And it's extremely steep. And the only way to get there is via an ATV six-wheeler. You know, yeah, this is going to be free ride for sure. <laughs> As we ascended this steep face, one thing became clear. I have lost my mind. Boldly going where no man has gone before. Taylor and I will be the first to ride down this volcanic cinder dome. Oh, man. Not quite Neil and Buzz, but I can see why nobody's attempted this before. It's just nothing but ankle deep loose pumice covering the entire slope. That's one small step for man, one giant leap backwards for me. That every step you take, you have to take five steps to get it, get anywhere. Oh man. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> That's how steep that is. This is the first ever descent of the backside of this cinder dome. No one's ever rode it on a bike before, <laughs> as far as I know. So this Dude, is gonna be... That is steep. It's steep. Yeah, this looks pretty crazy. Over here, you can't even see how steep Do you want to walk? Let's walk over here. Yeah, like, I, I think... Because I think this is too steep, honestly. We go straight down that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? Sure, I've dabbled in a little enduro, but that is on a trail, a nice path to follow. Do you see a trail here? You can't prepare for terrain like this. There's no practice run, but 
Life is about taking a few risks, so I'll just have to dive right in, hopefully not head first. Good luck, buddy. All right, free ride. <laughs> free ride. All right. Let's send it. Let's hit it. Oh, man. Oh, my God. Wow, what a rush. Free riding is like a double shot of pure adrenaline straight to the heart. Now that I've tried this crazy sport, I cannot wait to explore it further. Yeah, it's scary at first, but about halfway down, your mind moves into hyper focus and it makes you feel alive. Woo! Woo! Dude, oh my goodness, that was, that was the steepest thing I've ever ridden. Probably the steepest thing I've ever ridden to. <sighs> wow. It's been a lot of fun, man. That was some unique riding right there. <laughs>